Good morning, everyone. How are you today? It's Peachy, and today we're going to be talking about To My Star. Now, if you haven't seen it or you don't want spoilers, I would stop right here. If you need a sign, go fucking watch it. Seriously, you won't regret it. It's amazing. It's beautiful, spectacular, never been done before. <laughs> Seriously, though, like, it's my new favorite Korean boy love, and... Man, Where Your Eyes Linger was really, that was my bitch. That was my little baby. And this show just punched that little baby in the face. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm going to chill out now. But yeah, so about now is where you should probably leave. I really don't have any organization to this video, mostly because if I try to organize my thoughts, shit gets too long and too detailed, and then I just start losing my mind. So I'm sorry. But like I said, this is my new favorite Korean boy love. I'll admit though, and like I said in my other video, I did not like the show the first couple episodes. The first few episodes maybe. Just because Kang So Joon, oh my god, I wanted to punch him in the fucking face. But that was the point. That was the character we were supposed to see from him. And he did a great job in playing him like that. Because we were supposed to kind of see him as Ji Woo saw him and... I, you know, after episode three, things kind of started getting better. And, oh, man, their chemistry is so good. First off, they're both incredibly attractive, and I just love them. But especially Jiwoo, like, man, his, his like, bottomless stare really speaks to my soul. <laughs> I also have an RBF, and, man, it's so relatable. <laughs> and I just love the whole actor-chef dynamic. Like, what a good AU. What a good fan fiction. But it's real, guys. Holy shit. They filmed this shit. They acted it out. I'm just, like, so incredibly excited about this show for the different plot, for, oh my gosh, the communication. Like, they actually talked. Like, yeah, there was some drama in episode, what was it, eight? But really, like, comparatively, like, take Thai dramas or Chinese dramas, like, Sometimes shit just gets out of control and you're like, what the hell are you doing? Like, is it that serious? Like, can't we just chill out? Like, everybody, seriously, it was so realistic and like, yeah, he was blackmailing him with that photo, but it wasn't like, you know, he made a heist and he did all this and he did all that. Like, it was very realistic, I feel like, to real life. And so that was just so cool for me because like, it really felt like you were there and I love that. Another thing I really liked was that, yes, they were both gay, but it wasn't ever, like, an issue. You know, it was never, like, brought up, like, oh, are you gay? Or it, it was an issue of him being gay. Even Kim Pyohan, the, the CEO, was just like, oh, God. But we, are, we all know that this is the same universe as where your eyes linger. So, you know, he's <laughs> he's been through it before. But... You know, I, there wasn't as much of a fuss as I would have assumed they would have put into the show, if that makes any sense. So I really, really like that. It was just like, it wasn't even like a discussion. He's like, I like you. Do you like me? Okay, let's kiss. Let's kiss. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> so, yeah. God, my favorite scene was definitely the first kiss. Even though it didn't go over that well, but just the fact that Sojun like asked and it was just, oh, the tension. You could have cut it with a fucking knife, like punch me in the face. <laughs> and Jimu was just like, holy shit. And, it, the, and, and oh my gosh, it makes me want to cry. Like Jimu was just like, you know, I think he was just not believing that things were real. He didn't want to get played. He didn't want to get hurt, you know? And that's the saddest part. It wasn't like, again, which makes me happy. He wasn't like having an issue with his sexuality or that wasn't the main thing. He was just like, oh, Sojun's a celebrity and I'm quote unquote like a nobody basically. So don't play around with me and this and this and that. And oh my God, I just wanted to give him a hug. And when when Sojun walked out the door and then Jimu just started crying like, and then Sojun came back. <laughs> oh my God. Literally all these scenes are so amazing. Like they just, that's me that's me punching my hand they just they just punch you in the face with like their sincerity and uh, the tension and the love 
And uh, like, Jimmy never sp- smiles that much, but when he does, like, oh my gosh, it makes me want to cry. And it, and the ending ending scene where they're just like in bed and it's like so playful and there's no awkwardness, there's no nothing. Like, uh, you just felt the fucking love, didn't you? You just felt the love. Oh, she was like, oh, you want some jujitsu? <laughs> oh, I just love it. Like, it's perfect. It's, it didn't move too fast. It didn't move too slow. It had the tension. It had the chemistry. It had good supporting characters. It it had a good storyline. Things weren't over dramatic or under dramatic. They, they weren't too dramatic. They weren't too boring. Like, truly, I mean, we, we got kisses. You know, it wasn't like the end of Together where they, <laughs> where they high-fived. And it wasn't like the end of Where Your Eyes Linger where, I mean, they, they did kiss, obviously, but like, and kissing is the, the only thing that I'm concerned with in these shows. But, you know, it's nice to actually see the physical intimacy, especially because it kind of, like, drives home the point of, like, yes, they are together. But, like, honestly, Sojun and Ju, like, even if they didn't kiss, like, man, their fucking chemistry, I, I probably would have been fine. It would have been, like, an untamed kind of thing. Like, man, I just love this show. And, honestly, I love... Kim Pyohan, the CEO guy, I love him. I, I hope he gets like, <laughs> I really want him to get a main role. I don't know. This guy, he's just like in all these boy loves and he's cute. You know, he's fucking hilarious too. Like I, I get his, I get why they keep putting him as a side character or even like a main side character, obviously. But I just love him. Like I want to be his friend. <laughs> his like bitch please face is oh my favorite. It's my favorite. And fuck Hyunki, the the other chef who works with Jiwoo, the one that owns a restaurant. Y'all let me know. When Hyunki was like, I wanted to get close to you. Like that whole conversation where Jiwoo went back after like him and Sojun like figured everything out. Was Hyunki implying that he likes Jiwoo or that he liked Jiwoo and wanted to like get close to him, get close to him, quote unquote, I'm doing air quotes right now. Y'all let me know because I really wonder. Oh, I don't know that girl's name, but the um, the one that ended up telling Sojun about the photo. I, <laughs> I love her. The scene where she was like, that's not your money, bitch. <laughs> oh, I, I, oh, I love her. I love it. Okay. This is all that's coming to my mind right now. So if y'all have anything you want to scream about, seriously, yell at me in the comments. I I know I'm forgetting something that, you know, made me want to cry and like go fall in love. (laughs) Oh, and yeah, I'm going to plan on putting clips of the show in the background of this video because I feel like that's more entertaining to watch when I'm just talking. Um, But it might get copyrighted. So if you don't see a video, then it definitely did. (laughs) <laughs> as in a video of To My Star playing in the background of this video. Yeah, cross your fingers. Y'all already know by this point. <laughs> okay, guys. Bye!